Dave Johan once again for Punch Out Boxing. Please be joined by William Collar. How are you, mate? Hi, nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah, mate. I'm good. I'm good. Um, you're in Manchester, your hometown. You're in a, a big, massive fight night. How does it feel first of all? Yeah. Oh, I'm buzzing to be back, mate. I debuted here 11 month, 11 month ago, but. Almost a year now, isn't it? Almost yeah. a year, yeah. I'm a very different person until then. It's my fifth fight in that year. I'm active, fresh, I feel great. And uh, we'll see a different fighter in there Saturday night. I mean, in regards to your career, most of your wins, three out of the four have been by knockout anyway in the minute. Yeah. So are we expecting the same? Yeah, is, is it that five and all, four KO Saturday yeah. night, yeah. Uh, I'm on a good roll and I want to keep it going. And I think I've got a very fan-friendly style. And, no better way to build a fan base than keep, keep knocking them over, is this? So uh, that's my plan Saturday night, yeah. I mean, also as well, I mean, the name helps as well, should we just yeah, say? Yeah, of course. It's not, of course, I've got everything at, at my feet to be the next Manchester fight. I've got the name, I've got the style. I've got, I've got everything, I've got the platform. So if it doesn't happen, it's up to me. And when we look at fighters like, obviously, Campbell Hatton, Tim Tazu, yourself, kind of been... Sometimes when you come from a famous family fighting background, and obviously Michael Gomez Jr. is on this card as well. Yeah, of course. So is there always like this, this bit of added pressure that you, you find as well going into it? Do you have to kind of put that to a side, Will? Uh, of course it is, but I think with that pressure comes opportunities like this, say, this, this free boxing bloodline from Manchester on the show, there's cell phone, there's Mikey in his mind, and without, without that, we won't get these opportunities because we'd just be... Not like that, we've not in a finger way, we've just been normal kids from here, do you know what I mean? So it comes with its benefits, it gets you the opportunities. What's it like working with, with Anthony as a coach? Because it's, you know, it's different, isn't it? I yeah, it's stressful, well. stressful. Nah, it's very different in the gym. It's very much trainer fight or uh, relationship, then after that, we're back to being brothers. I mean, obviously, the stable's going to have a big night as well. We had a Dixon. Massive, wins, biggest you know, night. Nine fights, right? Biggest, Four biggest night for the gym since I started training professionals, and I can't wait. Rihanna to credit to no one to train with. She trains so, so hard and she'll be very deserving when she wins that world title Saturday night. And after this as well, what's the plan for you guys coming out? Is it going to be another one in the summer, one in the winter? I, I'm staying busy. I, will, I think, as so, someone said, uh, I'll box four times again this year. So this and then three after, I'll stay busy. Hopefully towards the end of the year, I'm pushing towards um, the last eight rounder or a ten rounder. And uh, next year, chasing titles. It's very finely as well, in regards to the main event, got uh, Jordan Gill versus Zelfa Barrett. So Zelfa Barrett obviously from Manchester. Is that someone that you're you're supporting? How do you of course, of course it is man. Zelfa's there. I'm always supporting Zelfa. I know Zelfa well and uh, I'm back into the business. It's a great fight and one that's very deserving to be top on the bill. I think it's a great 50-50 fight. But uh, oh yeah, I'm back in the local buy. Yeah, and uh, better, better season for United next season. Ah uh, yeah, ten hour goal. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. But uh, yeah, better season for United ne ne next year I'm hoping anyway. Good stuff. Well, all the best, mate, from Punch-Out Boxing. We'll catch up with you soon, pal. Thank you.